All right, we the Hebrew Israelites come out weekend. We got to prophesy the downfall of America. All right, and to filter that through the scriptures to prove everything. All right, and that what you got going on right now with your beloved president about to lead y'all into utter destruction, going up against Syria. That's in the scriptures. All right, and that's the glorious, glorious prophecies that the Lord, who you really call Jesus Christ, spoke of. All right. And that's, that's the sign of the time, proving that the salvation of the true, true children of Israel is very soon, which is for the elect, which is Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent, on your father's side. I'm going to start out giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shai. Double honors to those great millstone taught us this truth. Shalom on to the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right. Go to Luke 24, 19. All right. Excuse me. Uh, Luke, <laughs> Luke chapter 24, verse 19. Yeah. And he said unto them, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Yahweh uh, Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed in word before the Most High and all the people. That's right. You gotta lift it up. That's right. Who really called Jesus Christ was a prophet, all right, and he did mighty works. And what he spoke of is recorded in the Gospels, all right? So he called him a prophet. Go to Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7 through 9. Let's see how the prophets spoke. But they speak in peace, love, safety on a wicked, abominable kingdoms like America, all right, that follow after the ways of Sodom and Gomorrah. Let's see what the what the Bible says. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been... Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now the word thy people, the prophets that have been before me, before the of old, both prophesied against many countries, and against great kingdoms of war, and of evil, and of pestilence. That's right. The prophets of the Bible, right, which are the only true prophets, they spoke of evils, pestilence, and wars against countries, and great kingdoms. Now when you read in the Bible, right, Daniel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 7, all right, which are basically timelines of these so-called powers, powerful, powerful so-called nations to be set up until the time where that great stone that was carved out of uh, uh, out of uh, out of nowhere struck that golden or that that statue with all them gold, silver, brass, stone, iron, and all that, or uh, clay. That stone is representing the Lord when He come back to establish His kingdom, which is gonna last forever. All right. They tell you that in Daniel chapter seven. Okay. But prior to that, there's got to be four great kingdoms. Now we're in the time of the fourth great kingdom, and we're in the time of that little horn that, that came out of the uh, the fourth kingdom or the fourth beast. And that little horn is America. All right. And it's, it's right on the verge of being destroyed, okay? Because it has to be taken down for the kingdom of heaven to be established on earth. You can't have both wickedness and righteousness ruling at the same time. It's not going to work. Why is that? Get Proverbs, uh, Proverbs 29 and the last verse. Okay, the scripture is going to tell you that both wickedness and righteousness, they're both to each other is an abomination and they can't coexist at the same time. Okay? Proverbs chapter 29 verse 27 An, un an unjust man is an abomination to the just. Yep. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. That's right. So every time we come out here and we start teaching the word, glorifying the Lord, right? Like we're supposed to which you people claim you believe in, but your time of testing is coming, and a lot of y'all gonna fail, man. 
Alright, you're gonna get destroyed in this upcoming uh, catastrophes and evils that's gonna come on the society, alright? Which is soon to come because of the uh, wickedness and perverseness of perverted ass people in the society, man. Mainly you so called white people. Because your time of judgment is right around the corner and it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrific, man. Okay? Worse than any other nation has received on the planet Earth or ever will receive afterwards. Okay? For all your abominations. The scriptures say an unjust man is an abomination to the just. So every time we come out here and we, we cry out about all the abominations that's done in this wicked ass society, these people are against us. Because okay. in their eyes, we an abomination. A filthy, right, wicked, disgusting thing. But in their eyes, in the eyes of the Lord, they're an abomination because they're proud. Right. All right? They got a proud look. They're a bunch of liars. All right, they're a bunch of murderers. Because y'all about to go shed blood in, in Syria. Here it is, the, the, uh, the UN inspectors, chemical, chemical inspectors, right? They haven't even uh, found out that if Assad has uh, shot off them chemical weapons. But John Kerry, he said he don't care. All right, John McCain said, let's go. All right, Obama said, they, let's, let's go. UK said, no, nah, we ain't gonna go. We gonna have to wait this out. Like a smart person would do. But you people so rash and, and, and so gone, you gonna move anyway. And that's gonna lead to your destruction, okay? Cause y'all a bunch of simpletons. Now go to uh, Matthew 24, verse three and four, all right? Now, who you really call Jesus Christ with your pastor in the church say he, he's a, uh, he represent him, all right? And he's supposed to be teaching his words, right? Why he never go into this? Why he never go into about nation against nation and, and kingdom against kingdom? About the famines, the pestilence, the, uh, the earthquakes in diverse places. Your pastor don't talk about that because he got that 501c3 charter tax exemption and it's gonna lead to, uh, a lot of y'all getting destroyed too, all right? Because under that 501c3 charter tax exemption, he's controlled by the government. The government don't want him teaching about the Lord, okay? And what the scriptures say. He want them to teach that homosexuality is righteous in the eyes of the Lord, which is an abomination. He want to teach that, uh, that uh, killing your babies is, is all right. The Lord will forgive that. That's an abomination. And that's a sin on the death, all right? And he want to teach that everybody can be saved and that you're supposed to love everybody. And that's an abomination and that ain't true, all right? Because salvation is only for Israel, all right? And the Lord hates everyone, uh, every, the Lord hates sinners and the Lord hates you nations outside of his people. Keep reading. Matthew chapter 24, verse three. Yep. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came up to the and saying, Tell us, which of these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? The end of the age. The word world right there is eon. Alright, which means age. Because there's three Greek words for a uh, world. You got orchomeni, which means the whole planet Earth and everybody in it. You got cosmos, which is what John 3.16 is talking about. Which that's talking about a, a specific arrangement of government. And that's talking about the government of Israel. Okay, not everybody in their mom. Then you got Eon, which is age, and that's that's a period of time. It says that what end? The end of this age. What age are we in? We in the age of Esau ruling. Alright. But we waiting for the, the time when the children of Israel are gonna be ruled. Go to Matthews, I mean Mark chapter 13, verse 3 through 4. All right, because the Lord loves signs. He didn't drop dates. He loves signs. So you're supposed to look for the signs. Mark chapter 3, 13. chapter 13, verse 3. Yeah. Y'all look good. Y'all made the Huh? Y'all look good. You made the clothes. All right. And that, hey, yeah, yeah. A lot of you Jakes, you know about Israel, okay? All right? But the time of fronting, and pretending and, and laying low, that time is gonna be cut short too, okay? Cause it's gonna come a time, you gonna stand for the Lord, 
or you gonna follow this wicked ass society. And that time of uh, separation between those that's gonna do right and those that's gonna do wicked.